We were very specifically looking at misinformation about election processes, procedures, and election results. And if we saw something about that, we would pass it along to the platforms if we thought it violated their one of their policies. A left-wing researcher who participated in censoring information online about the elections and the COVID-19 vaccine testified to Congress behind closed doors. Kate Starbird, a professor leading the University of Washington's Center for an Informed Public to investigate what they believe to be disinformation and misinformation, has faced heightened scrutiny from House Republicans. She worked with the Election Integrity Partnership, which worked to suppress speech before the 2020 election. She was also part of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency's defunct Misinformation and Disinformation Subcommittee. It's interesting that the people that pushed Voter fraud lies are some of the same people that are trying to discredit researchers that are trying to understand the problem. Starbird, a former professional basketball player, appeared on 60 Minutes to discuss alleged misinformation on social media and her work to combat it. Not just our research, research across the board looking at the 2020 election Mm -hmm. found that there was more misinformation spread by people that were supporters of Donald Trump or conservatives. Conservatives slam CBS for not disclosing in the segment Starbird's role in the CISA panel. Also, her University of Washington program received $2.25 million in 2021 from the National Science Foundation to mitigate the so-called online disinformation. In a statement to the Washington Examiner, Starbird said that in 2017, she began to see social media platforms, quote, reach out to me, seeking insights based on my academic research to help them better understand how rumors and disinformation spread online. Social media and, for that matter, big media all over is still playing the the censorship game as we speak. But Representative Daryl Issa, who sits on the House Judiciary Committee, said rather than promote free speech and free expression, this partnership was dedicated to denying it. The case stems from lawsuits Republican attorneys general filed against the Biden administration beginning in 2020 over officials allegedly pressuring platforms to illegally silence right-of-center viewpoints on COVID-19 elections and other matters.